All right, hello and welcome. This is our quick tutorial on how to log into our website and uh, update your notary credentials. Um, so I'm going to go over here to my email where I've just received this email from a status department with my login and my password. Uh, so I'm going to click the link. It'll take me to the Loan Closers website. I'm going to go ahead and log in here. Type in my password. And then you can either hit enter or you can click this login button. I always like to stay locked in. And so I hit enter. So it looks like I need to upload my credentials. Um, looks like you guys need copies of a couple different things. Um, and I'll go ahead and update that here. So now you're at your home screen. As you can see, I don't have any pending orders or anything like that. You're gonna actually go over to here to this tab called My Info. And you're gonna hit edit up here at the top. Now if you scroll down towards the bottom you will see where it allows you to upload it where it says credentials here. So I'm going to upload my credentials. And lucky me I have everything here ready. Alright. I'm going to select one at a time. and say this is my background check. And I'll hit upload. Same thing, upload. It's my driver's license. Disregard I spelled license wrong. Now the site needs to see all four types of the document uploaded or else it's going to prompt you every time that you log in. My commission. Select the notary license. And here I can see the four different types of documents uploaded. Here they are. And also, this is a good time to double check all the information that I see here to make sure that everything is current. If you have specific times that you might be available, if you have a uh, different check that, uh, sorry, a different address that things can be sent to. I'm also, um, we prefer that you have an alternate phone number just in case for some reason we can't get a hold of you on your cell or your main line. And then down here, you know, you're going to put your commission number and the expiration date. We're going to set for, I'll set it for the 16th, just because it's a date in the future. And then you're going to hit save down here at the bottom. Now just to make sure that everything went back and saved, you can go back into edit and scroll down. And there you see the credentials uploaded there. And after it saves, that's it. If you have any questions on how to upload your credentials or for some reason the site might not be giving you the opportunity to upload them, uh, don't hesitate to give us a call. Uh, you can email them to us directly. However, it is crucial that we do receive these uh, credentials from you as some of our lenders do require that they have all of this info for any notary that helps them out with their files. So we want to make sure to accommodate this request by just asking all of our notaries to have their credentials uploaded. Um, again, if you have any questions, reach out to us here at the office. And if you have um, any concerns or um, you know comments about it, don't hesitate to reach out to us either.